Hey guys, AJ with Relentless Racing. Welcome back to the channel. When I first purchased Project Yellow, she was stuck in gear. In episode four, we switched out Project Yellow's transmission for a working C56. Today, we are going to open Project Yellow's original C56 transmission and figure out why it's stuck in gear. Let's get started. Not only are we going to tear down this transmission to figure out why it's stuck in gear, but also to determine if it's worth rebuilding. If so, we will perform a full rebuild. Hit that notification button and subscribe if you want to see more of these instructional videos. See that bolt right there? Damaged. Put this thing in double gear. These two. One, two, and this thing shouldn't spin now. Now it's locked. Okay.
The output shaft rear bearing failure seems to be a common problem with C56 transmissions. I have three C56 transmissions, all with the same problem, but they exhibit different symptoms. Project Yellow was stuck in gear. Thomas's was exhibiting grinding while shifting, and Bob's was grinding into fifth gear. Plate's still good, which is a good thing. There's some sort of sealant on it. Oh, look. So, notice the way that went in. It goes in full side. And then yep, there's the ball right there. So, this one's a lot larger. The bearing popped out, and look, there's a bunch of these balls that popped out. And look, here's another one. Oh, here's another one right here. Oh, yeah, the whole bearing's displayed right here. Yeah. Oh, look, there's another ball right there. Look, see that? <laughs> Crazy. When one or both of the rear ball bearings fail, the input and output shafts become misaligned. Once misaligned, the shift forks and the shift shafts don't actuate properly and either leave you stuck in gear or you can't get into gear. Also, the gears don't mesh well, causing grinding within the transmission. The moral of the story is when you hear weird noises coming from the transmission, stop driving because you might be able to save the transmission case, bearing retainer plate, bearing retainers, and stop all the ball bearings from traveling through the gears, synchros, and differential. So if by chance you are fortunate enough to minimize the damage, you could save yourself some cash and learn how to rebuild your own C56 transmission. In the next Project Yellow episode, we're going to remove the shift forks, the shift shafts, the input shaft, the output shaft, and the differential from the transaxle case. Once we're finished with all of that, we're going to clean up the cases, prep the input shaft and the output shaft for a full rebuild. This is AJ with Relentless Racing. Stay relentless, and I'll see you on the track. The channel.
heard it. Where did they go? Nobody knows. Okay, let's go find that thing. <laughs> Get your stuff home. This real quick. 